Let's build a micro RC spy tank. First, we're gonna open up Fusion 360 to design our tank body. Really simple design, anyone can do it really. Just a little box to house all the electronics and everything else. Print it. Now, the design was meant for these little brushless motors and they do not have enough torque to move the thing at all, so we're going to throw it away. Three D printing back at it again with the warping. No! I don't want that one! Huh. Yeah, that's more like it. Tank arm. Now. So I've got all my stuff here. Main body with two reversing ESCs. These are ridiculously large. I'm going to use smaller ones in the future, hopefully. Uh, si uh, six channel FlySky receiver that goes to my FlySky FSI6. It's a good beginner um, transmitter, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's, it's not the most advanced, but it'll work for what I'm doing here. Two N20, I believe, uh, high torque motors with little gearboxes on them, 300 RPM, um, main body there. The top here, I will have a battery in there for my FPV camera. That'll run straight off that 4.2 volts, that one cell by battery. The camera itself, slides right into here perfect the wires got holes for um, running all the wires the servo for the little servo or for the little arm that I'm making slides right into there perfect and last but not least the battery right into there so that print came out nice it's working well First, the arm goes into here with this little mounting plate, and that gets secured right there. Servo goes in here, hole for the wires to slide through. Wires for the servo go into here, channel six, kind of tedious right here, but I can get them in with a little help of my boys, the tweezers. Slide the deans through. Screw the lid on. Almost done. Camera. Boom. And now we are ready ready to spy. These are actually Lego tank treads, believe it or not. I got these wheels from a video that I can link in the description. Um, this guy created a little micro tank um, and he designed these wheels to fit Lego track. So I brought them into Fusion 360 and I designed them to fit my design. So that's how I am running the track setup. So because the ESCs that I am using do not have tank mixing on them, we're going to set that up in our transmitter. 
So for the FSI 6, we're going to hold OK, go into setup, go down to mix. Mix 1, we're going to turn on. Master and slave depend on which channels you plug your motors into, minor 3 and 4. Doesn't matter which one is the master, which one is the slave. Positive is going to be negative 100, and negative is going to be negative 100. The offset depends on if your motors spin up at different times. You set that up after you set the tank mixing up so you can see how to adjust which motors spin up first. Then we're going to go into mix two. Mix two we turn on as well. Now the master and the slave for this one are the opposite of mix one. So if your master for mix one was channel three, this time it's gonna be channel four and the same for uh, slave. Positive and negative mix are both going to be 100% and the offset, same goes for that one as well. Go get me my failed ESC attempt. Now to test the camera. Plug in my little battery here. Wow, it's on it already. Now we got a little FPV. Going a little drive. That's a pretty big lip. Let's see if I can. Oh, easy. That's not even a problem. What about in here? Whoa. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh. I'm guessing. Now let's do some obstacle testing. First, I'm gonna use one of these little things. Okay, that's a joke. I mean, this is impressive. It's only 1.75 inches, 1.8 inches, but look at how big it is compared to the actual tank here. It's over this. So you can get up backwards and then put the arm and be able to. So I think we can, maybe, oh, slowly. No, no, oh no, okay. But what I got here is a little weight, a little Series XT90 connector. If I dangle that on the end, it's gonna weigh it down. So let's see if we can get up with that. Oh, no problem at all. Let's keep going steeper. Okay, I think this is 45 degrees. Let's see, oh my God. Come on, let's get some traction. Now the problem here is traction, it's not all right, let's try again. Different spot. Get some. Oh my gosh. As you guys have probably already thought, this project has a lot of uses and um, a lot of potential in the real world. 
So I'm actually not gonna link the STO files because some of the electronics I have are discontinued and uh, a design for your electronics would be better. If you'd like to support me in my projects, my Patreon is linked on my channel page. Subscribe if you think I earned it and thank you for watching. Stay safe, cause the world is ridiculous.